What's good guys, today we're gonna take a look at mouse feet and why they are so important in squeezing every last bit of performance out of your mouse and mouse pad. Stock mouse feet in gaming mice have come a long way in the last two years. These days I don't feel forced to change the mouse feet on some mice, but with most mice I do still prefer aftermarket skates. Aftermarket mouse skates just do provide that consistent feeling and smoother glide. And they are the cheapest option to improve your gaming experience. The mouse feet usually cost about 7 to 11 dollars or 8 to 12 euros. But anyway, let's go through the list and see what the five things are that you should know about mouse skates. Let's start with a few more technical things that might actually affect the precision of your mouse. And the first one is that the thickness of the mouse feet can ruin the sensor precision. This is the most important thing when you're considering aftermarket mouse gates. An important thing with sensor precision is the distance from surface to lens. There is actually a specified distance on how far the sensor should be from the distance that you wanted to track on. Let's take a quick look at one public datasheet from Pixart sensors. If you happen to be interested, the link to the full datasheet is on the description. But I'm gonna show you this table of recommended operation conditions. So take a look at the row with distance from lens reference plane to tracking surface. So the minimum distance is 2.2 mm and the maximum distance is 2.6 mm. The typical distance is listed as 2.4 mm. So you can pretty much assume that the mouse manufacturer has put it at 2.4 millimeters with the original mouse gates. And this means that the aftermarket mouse gates can only be 0.2 millimeters thicker. So there is only a 0.2 millimeter sweet spot for the sensor lens to be in perfect focus with the surface. Here is a very simplified example of lens not being in focus at certain distance with a camera. So here I have my ballot in a specified distance from the lens and it's in full focus. Now if I move the ball a little bit further away, the image will not be in focus anymore and there is a massive amount of blur in the picture. Now I have never had any issues with hyperglides, core pads or tiger arcs myself. I've used hyperglides and core pads on many different mice and I can pretty much confirm that they will always work. Tiger arcs are quite popular but I have not used them that much but I can pretty much confirm to you that they will always work also. So you are definitely gonna be safe buying mouse case from these premium manufacturers. We can assume that core pads, hyperglides and tiger arcs comply with the same sensor to surface distance. But I know a couple of companies that make general mouse feet that are over 1mm thick. And for example, the hyperglides and core pads are 0.5 and 0.6mm thick for most mice. So if you would use these 1mm thick mouse gates, they would ruin the precision of your mouse. So do keep that in mind when you're buying mouse feet. The next thing you should know is that the sensor ring is not actually meant to provide more glide to a mouse. It's there to keep the surface sensor distance consistent. Razer does seem to be one of the companies that uses the sensoring in all of their new mice these days. I have here a Viper Ultimate, Death Adder V2 Mini and the Viper Mini and those all have a sensor ring. The new Zowie mice also seem to have a sensor ring and the same goes at least for the Logitech G Pro Wireless. So if you happen to be using a soft cloth pad with a heavy hand, maybe the ring can help keep the sensor surface distance consistent. I've used mice with and without the sensor ring and I've never had any issues. So I think that the sensor ring is there to mostly help with extreme situations. Like if you happen to have an uneven surface, but most of us don't. The third thing is that the differences in the premium mouse feet are very small. The core pads, the tiger arcs and the hyperglides all feel pretty similar. But if I would have to group them, I would say that hyperglides and tiger arc 2s provide the most speed and core pads and tiger arcs provide the most control. But as I said, the differences are very minimal and you should buy what's the most available and cheapest in your country. Fourth thing is something that you most likely already know. It's the fact that premium aftermarket skates are always better than the stock ones. You can pretty easily feel the difference in any mouse if you change the stock feed to for example core pads. The experience is altogether more smooth and there is more glide. And the last thing is that some aftermarket mouse gates need to be broken in. Core pads are a good example of this. I've noticed that I have to use them for about 4 days before they start feeling better. So do remember that they might not feel so smooth initially. Hyperglides then again break in really fast. So those are the 5 things you should know before buying mouse feet. So to conclude, aftermarket mouse gates are one of the easiest and simplest ways to increase your consistency. 15 years ago you always had to buy aftermarket mouse gates. These days it's not that forced but they do help still your cause. Remember that if you decide to buy mouse feet, buy core pads, tiger arcs or hyperglides. This video was quite different from my normal content. Hit me up in the comment section down below if you would like more videos like this. But thanks for watching, thanks for the support, remember to hit that subscribe and like buttons if you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.